Every day I show up as a research scientist and I ask questions about the world around me and work to answer those questions. I'm Allison Michael and I'm a senior scientist at the New Hampshire Academy of Science. This project that we are working on today, there's an endangered flower. It's the showy lady slipper orchid. And we study it so that we can help save it and also so we can learn how climate change may be affecting other species. We go out into the field with our drone and we fly it above the wetland and this helps us count the flowers that are there. We are also hoping to be able to map out these endangered wetlands so we can see how their shape changes over time. And we're also working on being able to not have to count the flowers by hand from these pictures, but to get the computer to use machine learning or artificial intelligence to count those flowers for us. I love going out in the field to do research. It's something I never expected to be able to do professionally as a chemist. I thought I was gonna be inside mixing things together my whole career. I like hiking, but adding science to the hiking just makes it so much more special. It's not just walking past a flower and it's pretty, it's walking past a flower and wow, I wonder how closely related it is to the flower next to it. Um, and being able to have the tools to ask and then answer those questions is really exciting. We at the New Hampshire Academy of Science all work very collaboratively. We have an ecologist who's really good at the geography of our data, so she's helping us put everything on maps. We have a molecular biologist who does all of our wet, hands-on genetics, so she mashes up the plants and extracts the DNA. And the more different perspectives we can have in science, the richer our science will be and the better we will be at asking questions. What I would say to middle school students that love science or math or drones or engineering is to not give up. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it because of who you are or where you're from. There's a space for you in the scientific community.